Well, don't jump in all at once, guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, the way I see it is uh, it being better than I thought it would be is not high praise. Mm. Is the way I would put it. But it was better than you thought it would be. A, a little bit. Um, I think that... Uh, so, I, keep in mind, I've read the first volume of Books of Blood, and this uh, this movie is absolutely just like an original creation. It has very little resemblance, but it does kind of try to to hit kind of the same feeling as that Nori novel in some ways. Does it succeed at that? No, but it like I can see that they tried at certain portions, and. I, I guess the, I'd say this this definitely is not a spoiler. Very early on in the film, there's a scene where there's two guys in a car and it's playing like Marilyn Manson, like <laughs> metal, right? And this movie felt like that Marilyn Manson song, dated shock rock. <laughs> yeah. This. So I've read a. Uh the first volume of Books of Blood too, a long time ago. I actually just um, started rereading uh, some of them again because of this movie. And yeah, most of this movie has no... Um, it's not based off the stories in the original uh, Clive Barker collection, except for one which is kind of loosely based, has some of the elements from one of the stories. And surprise, surprise, that's the best part of the film, in my opinion. <laughs> Though but, I think that was the worst ending but of that section. But yeah. yeah, but this film, I, I think I'm on the same boat as Adam, where I think I enjoyed it a little bit more than I thought I would. But I had no expectations. I thought this would be god-awful. And it's not that bad, but it's certainly not good um while i was watching it it reminded me of like a television like movie production or something have you ever seen the goosebumps tv show from the 90s i have that's what this kind of reminded me of i can see it <laughs> like <laughs> that's interesting i had really not specifically uh um goosebumps but very much felt like a uh it was almost like the thoughts I had was that it was Hallmark doing horror. <laughs> it's a Hallmark movie, the way that, that people interact with each other and stuff, it was just it so much parallels to me to that. <laughs> uh, yeah, it felt like a television production. Um, yeah, and not a particularly good one, like not like a Breaking no. Bad or anything, like a, you know, like a. Yeah. Very... And yeah, and it's, I find it weird that they went with calling this books of blood i guess they're trying to go for the same feeling that the uh clive uh barker stories um elicited but the thing with clive barker is a good writer i think he's a really good writer this movie is not that well directed <laughs> so it, it just in terms of pure skill like a subpar clive barker story can like still be like okay well i got something out of that at least i enjoyed the writing um, whereas with this, like, when it's failing, it's just, oh, I wish I, I want to get this over with. Um, yeah, I I sometimes kind of had the impression that this movie was inspired by, like, the fake, like, walk through haunted houses. <laughs> <laughs> like, the, like, the... the those haunted houses weren't inspired by this movie. This movie went just went through it and is like, man, that was that was an extremely fulfilling experience. We need to uh, we need to we need to replicate that college fundraising haunted house experience and uh, attach it to one of the most legendary horror. Uh, names of all time yeah so unlike you guys i have not read i read the first chapter of that book um for this episode literally right before i hopped on um just to kind of see what it was about um so 
I had no expectations in terms of what it was supposed to be like in terms of the books. Uh, that being said, this was not better than I expected. This was about right where at where I expected, <laughs> um, which was just pretty bad all around. The acting was horrible. Like it was just really, really, um, you know, like Hallmark movie is what kept them coming to my mind in terms of like the acting quality and just like the interactions. Uh, the I actually thought the best part of the movie was the first story, the one um, mm. with the girl. But even that was not good. You know, it was uh, it was definitely multiple times in this movie where I was like looking at my uh, watch and being like, uh, when is this going to be over? <laughs> <laughs> and then the, the I was kind of hoping when I heard that this was supposed to be bad, uh, that this would be like kind of funny bad. And there was I mean, it's like a little corny. It's actually very corny, but not in such a way that it ever made me laugh or even crack a smile. I, I thought there was a part that was supposed to be scary that I thought was funny. Um, talk about it. Yeah, there's there's one part where I laughed out loud. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe I cracked a smile. Well, and there were also some lines that, like, I thought they were trying to, like, outdo George Lucas in terms of, like, bad writing. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the script was, the main thing that was just off was just the, the interactions amongst people because the acting was bad and the writing was worse than the acting. It was just like very, very, um, and I mean, I, I couldn't tell if they were like, are they just inept or are they trying to go for a, you know, kind of unsettling feeling that people aren't acting quite normal. But, uh, and I, I don't know, the fact that I can tell, I think is not a good sign. Right, like it should be obvious if you're trying to be unsettling and not just awkward, but it felt more awkward than anything. Like awkward is that that's actually the movie the word I would describe this movie. If I describe this movie in one word, it'd be awkward horror. <laughs> that that would be a good descriptor to me in terms of how I felt watching there, this. There's a scene immediately in mind that I would definitely use that for the that descriptor for. So, yeah, I, I would agree. Um, but it, I don't know. I, I didn't feel like it was awkward, um, like hard to watch awkward. I don't know. It, it's it, for me, a lot of this movie was pretty watchable. Uh, which, which, again, that watch the ideas were novel. Good. I'll, uh, I'll give it that. And the ideas were novel. They were not the kind of thing that would be your first thought for generic. Some of it was. Some of it was totally generic horror here's the haunted house and the haunted whatever like the, okay but like, there was some interesting ideas presented in that were kind of like if a better director or better writer had come up with them could have come up with something good it's just that the execution was bad so it's it was creative there was or i should say there's creative moments among all the kind of trite uh you know uh hackneyed played out horror stuff that happens in this movie there is some interesting creative things in there for sure. Yeah. But it's just that the actual, the elements of horror, like if you're trying to be scared, just don't really work. It's not a scary movie. And if it's not scary, then the other elements of the film aren't particularly well done or intriguing enough to merit, you know, like a good score, or good opinion. Like, yeah. And it's ultimately it's just forgettable, I think. Like this is a movie I never ever plan on watching again, maybe even thinking about. It's Yeah, I don't know. It's 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 goosebumps. Well, I like the Goosebumps TV show. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe that's why I found it watchable. It almost like it was like kind of like a sad pantomime of, of like great horror anthologies like Creep Show. Um, and like in that, in, it has the appeal of, oh, I wonder what the creepy idea is going to be next. And they do have ideas, like Braden said. So, I mean, like, it, the, I felt like it was interesting enough that, like, um, uh, you, there could be uh, this new scary thing. 
on paper, this scary synopsis without any execution uh, ability whatsoever. And I don't know. I thought it was I was kind of curious to know what that next synopsis would be. Yeah, I, I mean, I will say I do think I enjoyed the movie a little a bit more as it went on. And I don't know if that's just because like <laughs> I got used uh, to the acting or whatever, but I guess, well, it's a film with three anthology stories. And at the end, they kind of try to loosely tie them all together, which is mm. a little neat, I suppose. Um, but yeah, like I said, I kind of, for, well, I mean, I don't know how much it matters. I kind of wish that they, had done the because if these are original stories they don't have to be all separate you know they could have tied them in in a more interesting way than these people all live in the same proximity as each other i mean that's a spoiler i don't know if no one cares <laughs> uh, it's, even if we do accidentally end up spoiling this movie it, it who cares? <laughs> <laughs> with with that let's let's move on to the